so welcome back to our channel fast cabling today we are stepping into the great outdoor with the poe switch installation guide tailored of your outdoor need so imagine extending your network to the open air and powering outdoor cameras as a point and more so get ready to waterproof your connectivity with this comprehensive guide so outdoor PoE switches play a crucial role in extending network connectivity to outdoor environments, ensuring reliable and efficient performance in challenging conditions. These switches are specifically designed with unique features to withstand outdoor elements, making them essential for various applications such as outdoor camera, outdoor wireless access point and other network devices. And the significance of outdoor PoE switches lies in their ability to provide power and data connectivity to these devices in harsh weather conditions. And the benefits of using weatherproof equipment for outdoor installation include increased durability, resistance to temperature variation, and protection against moisture and dust, ultimately contributing to the longevity and reliability of outdoor networks. And when selecting an outdoor PoE switch, several key factors must be considered to ensure optimal performance in challenging outdoor environments. You should prioritize weather resistance, ensure that the switch is designed to withstand varying weather conditions, including rain, snow, and extreme temperatures. And also, temperature specifications are crucial, as outdoor PoE switches need to operate reliably in a broad range of climates. Additionally, you should assess the number of outdoor rated ports aligned with the specific requirements of your outdoor installation. Choosing a suitable outdoor PoE switch that meets all these criteria is essential for establishing a robust and durable outdoor network infrastructures. So next, I'm going to introduce you to some of our outdoor PoE switches. We have an outdoor PoE switch that has IP67 waterproof rugged metal casing with high durability of extreme temperature. It can save concern of water damage and get 30 watts PoE plus and gigabit network with easy plug and play installation. And also we have an outdoor waterproof PoE pass-through switch. It uses existing cabling or network to provide power and data to up to seven PoE devices with only one cabling between the main network and the PoE power switch and also a total power budget of 95 watts and power output up to 30 watts per port. Last but not least, we have an outdoor PoE switch with SFP. It can supply up to 10 kilometers fiber optical network between point A and point B, and you can place this device at outdoor environment without concern of water damage and to provide fast network and sufficient high power for multiple network devices with plug and play installation. And we also have Layer 2 Plus Managed Switch with SFP available. It gives an efficient and safer way to meet outdoor network expanding application with powerful traffic management and QoS features. Offer MAC address filtering and VLAN capabilities so you can segregate network and remote access to ports. It also supports ERPS ring protocol, allows switches to be daisy chained it up and get a backup connection. And before embarking on an outdoor installation, careful planning is crucial to ensure the success and longevity of the network setup. You should pay close attention to cable routing, selecting paths that minimize exposure to potential hazard and ensure a neat and organized installation. Grounding is a critical consideration to protect equipment from electrical surge and ensure the safety of the network. Moreover, protecting the outdoor PoE switch and associated component against environmental elements, such as using waterproof enclosure, helps safeguard the equipment and maintain optimal functionality.
By meticulously addressing this consideration during the planning phase, now you can set the stage for a successful and resilient outdoor installation. So today we are going to do two different connections using the outdoor PUE switch. So the first connection we are going to use the fiber optic cable and the second one we'll use an ethernet cable. So let's walk through the connection step by step together. First I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect a router to the network video recorder since we're connecting to an IP camera. So we'll use the NVR to display video footage. It's already connected to the monitor. Then I'm going to use another Ethernet cable to connect the router to a WebSmart PoE switch to provide data. This is an indoor switch. We are going to connect with a fiber optic cable, so we'll need the SFP transceiver. This is where we connect with the fiber optic cable. Let's plug it into the SFP slot. And here we have a full strength fiber optic cable. It's pre-made, it, so you don't need to worry about the connector. Let's use string A. Each string has a letter on it. Plug it into the SFP transceiver. This is a 300 meters Ethernet cable. So coming over here, we have the PoE switch with the SFP slot. Doing the same thing, we we'll need to plug in the SFP transceiver and then plug in our fiber optic cable. I'm going to show you this fiber optic cable is completely waterproof due to the enclosure. This is the gland. Make sure you put everything in just like this to stuck this inside. So now it's completely waterproof and can be used in an outdoor harsh environment. And you can fasten up the gland. I'm going to use string A. Make sure you pick the right string And then I'm going to plug in two Ethernet cable since we're connecting to two devices. Let's plug it in here since this is the LED port. Those are the PoE port. And it's already connected to the camera and a wireless access point. As you can see, it's transmitting both power and data to the edge devices. And next, you can see the video footage is displaying on the monitor. I'm going to show you this is a live video by waving my hand. So the first connection is done using our fiber optic cable. So now we are going to connect to our bullet camera and wireless access point using this outdoor 8 port PoE switch. And let's do the connection together. From this side, we have the router and the network video recorder. I'm going to use the short patch cord to connect them together since we want to display the video footage from the camera. Next, I'm going to use another Ethernet cable to connect our router to our WebSmart PoE switch. So this is our indoor installation. I'm going to plug in the 100 meters Ethernet cable Let's go outside. So here we have an outdoor PoE switch. It has an enclosure to prevent moisture, water, rain, and sunlight. And over here, I'm going to connect the Ethernet cable from the switch. So over this side, you can see our Ethernet cable is already plugged in the enclosure. This is the neck. I'm going to put it in here and it goes tightly inside and make sure you fasten the gland and I'm going to plug in two Ethernet cable since we are going to connect with two devices. One for the bullet camera and the other one for the wireless access point. 
as you can see, it's already getting the power and the data that it needs. And moving on to the monitor, we can see the video is already displaying on the monitor. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So we're done with the connection using an outdoor PoE switch. And when setting up an outdoor PoE switch, you should consider several essential tips to optimize performance and ensure longevity. Firstly, environmental consideration, including the temperature range, should be taken into account to ensure the switch operates reliably in outdoor conditions. Installing surge protectors is also crucial for safeguarding the equipment for power surge caused by lightning or other electrical issues. Using high-quality outdoor-rated Ethernet cables and connector is paramount to prevent signal degradation and ensure consistent connectivity. Lastly, implementing proper grounding procedure following the manufacturer's guideline, it is essential for protecting the outdoor PoE switch against electrical interference and enhancing overall safety. So by adhering to these tips, now you can enhance the resilience and efficiency of your outdoor network installations. And congratulations, you've just weatherproofed your connectivity with an outdoor PoE switch. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel for more tech tutorial. And it elevates your outdoor network with the power of PoE switches. Thank you very much for joining us today. Happy networking!